Hello Internet, want a better way of making time lapses with your 3D prints? Let's have a look at that. What would you make? So taking time lapses of a delta um, doing a print is reasonably easily. You just take a camera, you point it at the um, the printer, and since the print bed doesn't move, the print doesn't move. All you see moving around is the head. And that's quite fine. Um, with the replicator, um, MakerBot clones, and the um, Core XY style, automatic style, where the um, bed drops and the head moves, you can either just point the camera at it, and the bed appears to drop in your view as the print comes up, or you mount it to the bed, and the bed, um, the head appears to go up, and the print appears. That's easy enough. But when you've got a i freestyle um, Prusa clone, the bed's moving. So you either have to mount it to the bed, and everything, the whole world appears to move around it, or you mount it to um, just point at the thing, and the whole print seems to move. Neither of which is the best idea, because you mount it to the bed, you gain mass moving back and forth, and also the camera or the arm that's mounted to can wobble a bit, which makes the image rather makes the print worse. Or you can mount it to the um, desk and the print blurry in the time lapse, you don't really see anything until the end. Or unless it's uh, something skinny and the bed's not moving too far. Um, but what I've found is there's a new um, add-on for Octoprint called Octolapse. Admittedly this needs um, a newer version which is currently in beta. Wait a second. Okay, so this is Octolapse's website, um, the plugin for Octoprint. Um, it does require 1.3.7, um, which is currently in release candidate as of um, release candidate four as of the, um, this recording. Um, but so far, that's been stable and been fine for me. Um, basically, the plugin. Once you put it in, you end up with a new tab up here, or tab, new spot up here at the top. You click on that and you get into the settings, you get to select the printer type. Um, basically this is the same sort of bed size as mine has got um, for my cocoon create touch, this is the one I've been using. Um, so far I've been using um, the extruder at the center. Um, found out now it's got different settings on here, so I might try that at a different spot. Um, you can tell when to take the snapshot, the layer change. Now yeah, layer change works really well for me, except for when um, if you do a vase mode print, then it really mucks up because basically, um, as you start going around, it, it, all the way around the circle, um, as you're going around, it's going up in height. And since it's 10 minutes layer change, you move the tiny little part, move to the spot where it's taking the photo, take the photo, move back, move a little bit, move back, take a photo. And so it takes forever to get anywhere. Um, so that's probably not a good way of doing it if you're going to do a vase mode. Um, when I did a vase mode, I did it every 30 seconds, and that worked fine for me. Um, I've been so far just been using MP4 30 frames a second, default webcam, which is a real option on there so far. Um, I think he's now got it as a Logitech webcam, default webcam. Web default webcam is basically the same thing as Logitech webcam currently. Um, and I've got for no logging because I don't want up the SD card with log files. Now currently I've got it set to do two different lots of time lapses, one with Octolapse and one with a traditional one, just so I can do a couple of videos and show you what the differences are. And let's have a look at that. Okay, so the first print I'm going to show you is this, which is for my um, watch, uh, watch stand for my um, tick watch. Um, it's in two parts. As you can see from underneath here, there's this extra part here, which is screwed in that's basically so this part can go up in there and is then held in it can't come out um, I do still have to print some more for it for in here there's a couple of bits to print in with rubber to make a proper, proper feet for it but other than that it works quite well um, so we'll have a look at the time lapse for that and you'll see the differences in there between the traditional time lapse and Octolapse's time lapse
And then the second print we're going to do is a vase mode print of milled vase, which looks quite cool. Now, really a bit too close to the bottom there, so it was a bit um, transparent. You can actually see my finger moving back and forth on there, but it does work. You could use it as a pen holder or something still, just not going to be watertight. And we'll have a look at time lapse for that. Okay, hope you guys found this interesting. Um, hopefully um, we'll get better and have more features to it. It looks like it's progressing well at the moment because it's still in uh, release candidate for both Octoprint, the version it's using, and for Octolapse. Um, but it helps make it easier to do time lapses. I will hopefully get my prints uh, time lapse looking better as I get more lighting and better set up for where my camera's going. Um, at the moment there's no real lighting set up at the moment so I'm still Anything set up that can create touch with the lax tables, gonna um, enclose it properly and put lighting in there, and then that will make, make it look a bit better as well. Okay, if you liked it, um, like the video. If you liked the video and like some other ones, please subscribe, it helps. And I'll see you next time. What you're making.